Hello, this is Bill Morgan, president of Parker University and Parker Seminars here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And with me is Kevin Christie, who's talking about ethical practice management. Kev, Kevin, thanks for being here today. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, how's your how's your day going? It was good. Had a great good. talk and had a filled room, so oh, it was good. fun. That's yeah. good. So, what's your special message about mm-hmm. ethical practice management? Yeah, so really around marketing, and I think marketing is going to be really important for chiropractors. Uh, the, the foundation is being a good chiropractor, but I think there's been this kind of... Um, thought process that they don't need to do marketing and because I'm a doctor and stuff but to have a really thriving practice you have to do elegant marketing and so that's what we discussed today we at, at Parker University mm-hmm. ironically we weren't marketing certain things mm-hmm. certain classes we have 25 majors we started putting money into marketing and guess what yeah it works double digit growth yep. it, it was amazing because it was like we were kind of doing it but when we really had a concerted effort in the marketing mm-hmm. It, it was a tenfold return on our investment. It's huge, and some chiropractors, they think it's an indictment on them if they have to do marketing, and it's like, no, like you believe in what you do, you know that your community can benefit from what you do, so what's wrong with getting that message out there in a way that's uh, congruent with your practice and, and obviously going to help people out? And here's the psychology yeah. of it. When you're doing well, you're like, I don't need to market. When you're not doing well, yeah. I don't have money to market. Yeah. And what I've learned is you dedicate a certain percentage of your practice or business mm-hmm. to marketing. Yeah. And we're good good or bad, it's like Pepsi and Coca-Cola. When they're doing well, they don't stop marketing. They don't. Yeah, you don't want to turn that off, right? Mm-hmm. That hose, you want it to keep going. Like you said, we did discuss budgeting in there. There's a certain percentage that needs to go to that. Uh, early on, maybe in practice, you have less money, more time. You can get out kind of boots on the ground. But then as you develop and you have a thriving practice, you can then put more money into it to help support your clinic and grow it. So is this a pretty good time to market if you are if you don't have very much money? I think it's the best time, honestly. Uh, we talked about content marketing and being useful in your community and getting good information out there that's going to help your community. You're just going to be a valuable resource. And then they're going to look to you to help solve their problems. And the way technology is now is you can actually act kind of like a big business with your your marketing like the distribution channels out there can really get it to where you know 20 years ago print ads and television commercial and radio commercials that was expensive oh, it's amazing <laughs> I, mean, I remember when I came out yeah. if you get a full page ad in the in the phone book a thousand dollars a month so it's twelve thousand dollars a month for a mm-hmm. book everybody gets it was amazing yeah. but but now you can, you know, and we, we, we can do something called geofencing, yep. where if you have, a, if you're trying to get into a particular company, you mm-hmm. can just have, every time that person gets, turns on their device, yep. your clinic comes up on their device. Mm-hmm. You can make sure it's just that geographic location. Yeah. Absolutely. So if you had one pearl you could mm-hmm. share yeah. to the audience, what I, would it be? I think what the pearl is, is you have to make sure that you are developing a content marketing strategy and not fall for all these tips and tactics and you know different things out there that are one-off things like you got three new patients for the week but then you got nothing after that because it's just a tactic mm-hmm. you really want to have a comprehensive strategy oh and you're so talking that's about strategy is what we're all about and, and, and strategy is that long-term roadmap on how you get from here to there yes. a tactic is almost like a parlor trick it's or a, a gimmick. sugar high yeah it's a yeah. sugar high oh, good. And, and so yeah it's a long-term sustainable approach and I think content marketing is kind of an invisible marketing right like people don't mm-hmm. like to be marketed to you know like they want to just know that you're there and if you're useful for them that's what content marketing can do and what we're doing is and is of course our seminars are marketing mm-hmm. and we're putting on more seminars we have, we have a strength and performance seminar at Dallas coming up on May the 4th of this year mm-hmm. and then we're having a neurology seminar not for chiropractors mm-hmm. but we are putting chiropractors in, in there to subtly show us as subject matter experts to these other crowds that's perfect so that way it's going to kind of you know bridge that gap a little bit well thanks for being here i hope Absolutely. we can have you return next year thank you thank Appreciate you very much it.